how is this? Oh, oh, I, I can understand his thoughts. And I can hear yours, Artyom. Can you hear anyone's thought just by touching them? With Artyom, it's different. We can talk from afar. He was adopted long ago. Do you see, Artyom? The Dark Ones changed you so that they could understand us. What's behind that door? Did you hear? They call you. I can hear. Open this. Wait. Wait. That looks like one of the sealed doors in D6. Yes, at the exhibition. It has a strong lock, too. We've yet to break it. What's there? The people? They're inside. Sleeping. <gasps> Incredible. Look at this. They're hibernating. He is not alone. I must wake them up. It's time for them to leave. We are all going there now. We'll open the door if we can. There's... death... nearby... all around. But I must wake them, or be alone forever. Now listen. Help us, and we'll help you. I will. What needs to be done? I must wake them. We'll have to improvise. Hey! Wake, wake up, up, you bastards! bastards. <gasps> Who's that? Oh, sorry, we took a nap. Colonel, can you open the gate where the gardens line ends at D6? Do you have the code? I have all the codes for D6, but I can't promise a thing. You'll have to. He will help us in police if you do. Take him along then, and brief me on the way. If I'm convinced that he'll help us, I'll open your door. Follow me. Why is there all those spider webs, man? Why have you not burned that shit up? He is not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others. To free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin. Or Corbut himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. Artyom, we already knew of Oktoberska from Khan. And we did confront Moskvin on this. Yet he didn't even try to disprove it. He told them my sheer work, their chemical defense squad, was exercising nearby. And those, like shit. Despite some sacrifice, they were able to nip this darkening epidemic in its way. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the it whole of me. What can you say to that? Even I would have done the, the same. But Colonel, it was Lasnitsky, yes, the agent who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Artyom. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? But the Reds tried to break through oh, into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvin. It's a cooler kid. What can we do? We are not an army. We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, yes Moskvin did gear up for war. But after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to Holy. peace. And we must do everything to have that agreement signed. You all right, little Moskvin, guy? What difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. And while he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood. Oh, what? You got a me. better idea? You brought this ape here. Open air what lock. now? Yes, sir. We're done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me. Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent <laughs> dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well, he knows what to do. I asked the kid about how he made it, how did he survive the Inferno. Now I know. When the missiles rained upon the City of the Dark Ones, he was simply not there. The Dark Ones, we've been asking ourselves how it happened. 
so the new sentient life emerged amongst almost instantly. Why did why did we take millions of years of evolution and the dark ones needed were all the dark ones needed were a few years? The answer was simple. It was us, people who had brought them to life. They emerged amongst us. Skyo, my stepfather, was right. They were the next stage of evolution, next to ours. We were their fathers. Oh, they were our children. Uh, what's so F? We had created so many weapons to destroy ourselves with, and one of those weapons gave birth to them. They are not like us. What kills us makes them stronger. We left them a ravaged, poison world, but they learned to live in it. They sustained themselves by absorbing radiation. After, after being born, they did not enter the world at once. For some time, they continued to exist in a dream, growing and learning from the ones who came to be before them. What we destroyed was their home, but the place where their young ones slept was underground, close to the botanical gardens, close to the TV tower. It was in the bunkers under the TV buildings, which were connected to D6. But when the warheads fell, the entrance tunnels caved in. The dark ones, who were almost ready to enter the world, got blocked inside. Instead of them, he, the little one, opened his, his eyes, awakened by the explosion and the last scream of his mother. Knowing nothing of what had happened, not ready for anything, knowing nothing of the world, he tried looking for his kin, but could not find them because the few survivors continued sleeping. Their time to wake up had come and passed. Very soon they would die of hunger, without even knowing, without even opening their eyes once. I don't know how Khan persuaded Miller, but he was the icon of stoic, st stoicism, stoicism. <laughs> and I did not reach for... And I did not reach for his weapon when he saw the Dark One. The following event shocked me even more than the plans of the Reds. There were Dark Ones in D6. Ken had hypnotized... Had, had hypnotized... Had hypothesized that they were created artificially before the war. Created as what? Soldiers immune to radiation and having no, no need for voice communications? Could be so. But then God probably decided to breathe souls into them. Very interesting. God, please let this work out. And to summarize the official proceedings, I call on the leader of the red line, Comrade Boski. Comrade, Comrade. I want to have use to use this dear friend, dear friends. We also, we also consider the motion to distribute the wealth. Get ready, Arthur. Stay close to the little one. Hurrah, comrades! Ah, uh, this is gonna be bad. Be peace in the name of our children. You are a liar! Oh, God. Come, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Okay. Who are you? Guards. No, no, no! Take this man away! No, no, no! Ranger, stand down! Artyo, little one, it's your turn! Holy crap. Alright, little guy. Show your true self. Don't be afraid! Don't be afraid! He's just a little kid! Why are you so afraid, little pussy? Oh? Comrade Moscovy, you must support me on this, or else some inconvenient details might surface concerning your brother's death. Did I just get lucky and happen to open the right one there? I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What's the hell? Threat? We're brothers! He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you 
must strike first. Excellent, brother. I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink. Sure, um, brother. No. You feeling all right, guy? Oh no. What? You guys reading the famous suit that's known in this area. It is unanimous. Maxim Leonid. Silent treatment. What are you looking at me with those honest eyes for? It was your fault. Who wanted me dead? Corbett sold you out. And now he's got me by the balls. All because of you! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. But even so... Like I gave something to brother. Yes. Yes. I did. I poisoned him. But Corbett. I'm a fool. I thought he wanted to save me. And he just took the power. Took me by the throat. And he's storming the D6 now. And there's that virus. And if that falls into Corbett's hands, the end. You but scum. you are the leader. They order him. Call the troops. We're just gonna let him walk away. Buy some time to make a deal. Bastard. What kind of? There's nothing more we can do here. Spoiler Hurry, arm. faster, to the platform. Damn, I'm not surrendering D6. Follow me. Okay, where'd the little where'd the little guy go? See a woman. It will be bad for everyone if you lose. Then I have to save them. My family. You're good, Artyom. He is gone. He did what he could. And now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope he was able to forgive us. Me. For what we did to his brothers and sisters. His mother and father. going on now? Becky's pushing me out of the way. Can't see. Okay.
Yeah, it sounds like straight out of Alien or something. Moskvin wasn't bullshitting this time. The Red Line's advancing on three sides. My brother's in arms. I am not a man for speeches, but here it is. You are the most dedicated, most courageous soldiers in the Metro. Each of you is worth five reds. If you simply do the job you were trained to do, we'll win this battle. Okay. Sparta! To battle! <laughs> Sparta! Sparta! Um, hold on. Bye, hold on. I think that gun was more powerful, to be honest with you. Shit, everything's free. I wonder if I should get, uh, let's get a long distance gun. Uh, a good scope on it. Improving accuracy, reducing recoil. Let's get one of those. And uh, extended magazine. I got that shotgun. I'm gonna change my shotgun to that. Exchange our assault rifle to that. Cause everything's free. It's just I'm hoping this shit's all good. Let's see, that'll be my medium. Well, my shotgun can be a medium range. Daytime out there. It was daytime last I looked. Extend the clip. Put the laser sight on it. All right. Check me out. Who's got the bullets around this part? So I got some bullets. Well, I think that pretty much covers it. All right. I'm ready, folks. Ready, ready, ready. No grenades or anything? Get Shit. Ready, people. This is gonna be rough. Is it nighttime outside? What you guys think? You think it's nighttime? I hope it's not. Oh god! Oh, that looks like canisters. Is that canisters? Oh man! That was canisters. There's a fully automatic weapon there. Oh no! Crap, guy. Oh no! 